Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope everybody is well. Now, a typical Saturday night, I'm there on my 4K Fire Stick, doing some troubleshooting, trying to get the Google Play Store to work. And um, what happens? Well, as you can see on the screen, guys, my 4K Fire Stick is now stuck in a permanent boot loop. So I can't do anything. It's not accepting any commands from the remote control. It just keeps on cycling like this. And it's been like this for the last uh, 20 minutes or so. Now I did have a look online and there were a couple other videos I saw where people were experiencing a similar issue. But unfortunately the only fix people seem to have was either just give the device back to Amazon, you know, for a refund or for an exchange, or alternatively just uh, do a factory reset. Now, as you guys know, when you do a factory reset, that means you lose all of the content on your device, which I really don't want to do. So I do actually have another idea which may fix the issue. So I thought, let me just start my camera and let's just see if I can fix this in more or less real time. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually plug the Fire Stick into my computer with the standard micro USB cable. So on the Fire Stick where you normally plug in the power cable, I'm just going to plug a standard micro USB cable into there and the other end will be a standard USB port which I'll plug into my PC. And let's see exactly what happens. Okay, we can see my Fire Stick has actually gone off now because here is my 4K Fire Stick. Here is a standard micro USB port. Let's now plug that in. Okay, plugging that in. And this should now make a connection. Um, I don't know if you guys actually heard that, but this actually just connected to my PC. So let me now just put that down. And I'm now going to open up an ADB connection. So let me bring up my command prompt. Okay, so here is my command prompt. Now I'm going to be using ADB on my computer. And if you don't have the files for this, I will leave a link in the video description on how you can download that. But essentially you just download those files into a folder. So I've downloaded them into a folder called uh, launcher. Then just navigate into that directory. And if I just do a DIR, which is directory, I can now see there is the ADB command there. Now what we're going to do is just type in ADB kill server, which is going to kill any previous uh, ADB sessions. That's done. I'm now going to type in ADB devices, which is going to show me any devices that are already connected to my computer. And because we plugged the Fire Stick in via USB, I'm hoping it now sees that device. So let's type in ADB devices. Okay, it's now going to start the ADB daemon or daemon. And there it is guys. So there you can actually see this is the must be the serial number of my Fire Stick. So my computer can now see that my Fire Stick is properly connected. Now that you can see that device, I'm just going to type in ADB shell, which should actually make he, <laughs> make he, which actually should make that connection over ADB shell. So ADB shell. Now the guys that actually regularly do this, they know typically when you go over the network to make an ADB connection you have to type in ADB connect and then you then have to specify an IP address. Because we're connecting over USB, I can just type in ADB shell and that's now actually made a connection to my Fire Stick. So, okay, so I've now made a connection to my Fire Stick over the USB port. So now, for example, I can now ask it to show me all of the packages which are installed. So let's type packages, which I mean are APKs or applications. So let's type in PM list packages. Okay, so I'm getting this error message because you have to appreciate that the device is not able to start fully. So it gets to a point and then it just reboots. So I'm guessing I got the error message there because the device is not fully ready or it's just at a point where it can't actually answer that query. Let's try that to command again. Okay, so uh, I'm sure third time lucky. Fourth. Okay, so I had to do that command a couple of times because obviously the device was not ready to answer that query. But here is the result, guys. So these are all the applications that are installed on my device at the moment. Now, the last two things that are installed, which I'm guessing is what's causing the boot loop, is the Google Play services and also the Play Store application. So those two things, I believe, are what causes the boot loop or what causes your Fire Stick to go into that particular state where it cannot start properly. So my theory is if I can remove them via ADB, then that should actually fix the issue. So let's try that out now. So the command to remove any package is just ADB uninstall and then the package name. So if you just go through the list here, 
I should be able to recognize uh, what the Play Store is called. I believe it was um, vending something. Actually, can I type in uh, vending? Okay, let's try that again. Aha, so there it is. So that's the one there, guys. So so this com.android.vending is actually the Play Store APK and the package name is com.android.vending. So that's the first package to remove. So the command to uninstall an application, adb uninstall, and then the package name, which we know for the Play Store is just com.android.vending. Let's paste that in. Let's see if that uninstalls that. Okay, so success. So that's the first application that we removed. The other thing is the actual services. So let's find what that package is called. I believe it's um, is this one here. It's com.google.android.gms. So again, let's type in the command. So adb uninstall, and it was com.android. What was it again? Uh, oh, sorry, it's com.google.android.gms. So let's go down. So com.google.android.gms. So those are the two applications I installed last. So let's see if I can quickly uninstall this one as well. Okay, we've got the error message there because again, the device is not in a ready state. So let's just type that command in again. All right, got the error again. Uh, third time lucky. Success. So I've now basically removed those last two applications, which I believe are what caused the device to go into a boot loop. So that's pretty much it, guys. So let's now actually plug the Fire Stick back into my uh, capture card. Let's see if this poor Fire Stick, which was almost uh, near its death, let's see if we've actually brought it back to life. So let me now plug that back in. All right. <clears throat> Hope everybody is uh, well. Uh, actually, you guys probably can't hear me now. Uh, <laughs> plug that back in. Oh. Okay, so I've just plugged the power back in and let's see if the TD UK actually knows what he's talking about. In fact, guys, keep your fingers on the like button or maybe on the dislike button. And if this doesn't work, you can then smash uh, one of those buttons. But let's see. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that's what it was because that was the last thing I basically changed on my device. And since installing those applications, it just kept on uh, rebooting. Has that worked? Uh, my heart's actually beating now. Uh, and there we have it, guys. Uh, whew. We have now basically restored our dead 4K Fire Stick, which was stuck in a permanent boot loop. And as you can see on the screen, guys, we've now actually brought that Fire Stick back to life. So no need to return your device, no need to wipe it, no need to factory reset it or anything else. Your device is now pretty much as good as new. Now, in case you guys are wondering why I don't actually post you know, videos every day or every other day, um, I do have very limited time um, and I do try to use that time as best as I can. And most of that time, um, I actually spend just researching, you know, trying things, uh, seeing if things are working. As you know, I was trying to make the, you know, Google Play Store work on the 4K Fire Stick, uh, which I'm still struggling with at the, at the moment. I still haven't fully uh, cracked it, but because our time is limited, um, I have to make sure these tutorials do work. I'm trying out different things, different ways of, you know, doing things, just trying to find the best tutorials and the things that will be most useful for you. And for that, I do really appreciate your support and patience. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, as I mentioned, I'm actually trying to get the Google Play Store to work properly, or at least have access to those uh, services or the Google Play services. So applications that need those services to run will at least run properly. So again, if you want to see that video, then do smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Do leave me a comment below and let me know if you found this video useful and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.